welcome to Guava Juice 2! Today we are going to try out some Mexican candy snacks. Ah! Alright, so let's start off with this thing. We have Super Rico! Super Rico! So, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just a spicy powder. It's a chili flavored powdered candy. That sounds very sketchy, but you know, it's, it's worth a try. It might be good, it might not be good. We're about to figure that out right now. Here we go. So this is the package. It has a cool little bird here. Who cares? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do it. Ready? And action. That's not that bad. All right, next we have Polpa Dip. Polpa Dip. This is a weird container. It, it, it kind of looks like a toy. Like those things that kind of spring up and down. But uh, let's try it out. Hello? Does it do anything? Hello? Do you have to? How do I work this? Do I have to get rid of something? Oh, there's a seal. Okay, there you go. And then I guess you just squeeze it like this. Oh, there it is. Why is everything so spicy? This one smells so spicy. Here we go. Ah! This one tastes like the liquid form of this one. Wow! This one tastes a lot better though. But seriously, who would eat this for candy? Blech. Oh, man. People in Mexico must love really spicy candy. Cause uh, these two are just spicy. Oh my gosh. All right, next up we have Duvalin by Sabor. This is a hazelnut and vanilla candy. Okay, okay, let's, let's change the pace a little bit. No spiciness, just straight up chocolate and vanilla and hazelnut. Oh, how do you eat it? You just go like this? Good. It's good. Finally, a really good one. But I'm assuming some people like it really spicy. So let's try it with some spice. Maybe it'll taste a lot better. Here we go. Oh, it's good. It's still really good. Maybe you're supposed to use this on other things instead of eating it straight up. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's move on. Next up, we have Lucas Muecas. This is a mango lollipop. <laughs> is it really though? Is it really a mango lollipop? I didn't even know mangoes grew in Mexico. Here we go. This is like weird looking lollipop thing. Here we go. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Guess what is in here? More spices. There is so much spice in these candies. Oh, it's not bad. That's actually not bad. Wow. That's pretty good. Mm. Okay, it's getting spicy. I put way too much. <laughs> it doesn't help that I have this cut in my mouth. This is making things a lot hurty. Next up, we have sour pickle balls. I don't like pickles, so I already know I'm not gonna like this whatsoever. Look at that, this is what it looks like. Look at that. So, uh, here we go. Alright, nope, nope. <coughs> wow! Wow! I like took a little bite of it, that's the weirdest flavor ever. Wow! You gotta try this, this is so gross. I don't know how anyone enjoys that. There you go. All right, two more. We got two more left. Here we go. We have cherry bomb. So this is, uh, I guess cherries with the same old spicy stuff. Ugh, this spicy stuff is gonna kill me, man. Here we go. Cherry with spices. I can eat it, but I don't know how to enjoy it. 
I don't know how to enjoy eating these things without making a weird face or having a weird taste in my mouth. That thing's okay, because it's alright because like I still taste the aftertaste of these nasty pickles. Nasty. Alright, last but not least, we have mango fruits with chili powder. Hopefully this one tastes good because the mango lollipop tastes amazing. So uh here we go. Mango. way too gross. Out of all these foods, I have to give it to the chocolate, hazelnut, and vanilla spread, and the mango lollipops. Anyways, thank you for watching today's episode of Trying Out Mexican Snacks and Candies. If you want me to do more, comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy.